totally did. It's the fact that after that, Constantine, the, the emperor, either because his mother was a Christian and or because he looked at this group and said, wow, these guys are fanatically loyal to their bishop and do whatever he says. And that makes it makes it very easy for me to put my favor onto them. And if I'm putting my favor onto them, I can take away favor from the pagans and close their temples. And if we're going to close their temples, they're not going to need these gold statues anymore. So all this windfall goes into the empire. Yeah. Uh, Symbiotic yeah. relationship there. And the whole time, the ironic thing about Constantine, even though he's called the first Christian empire emperor, he was a pagan emperor his whole life. He was a Christian and a pagan emperor. Did all, the Victus, things, yeah. all the Christian things when he was killed, uh, when he died, he was deified. Um, just dutifully. It wasn't until the emperor or two after him that everything became officially Christian in the empire. Yeah, in fact, you say after um, okay. um, after his war, right? After the battles, um, yeah. who did he thank? Oh, so yeah. Victus, right? Exactly. We still have the um, we still have the, uh, um, the who the who should we read? Has it? Say again. You can go ahead. Was trying to say something. <laughs> We're all so polite, and then we you all can talk. go ahead. That's fine. Well, I was going to say, we still have physical evidence that he was doing pagan things. And even some of the Christian things he did were, um, for instance, he didn't really use the cross. He used what's called the Cairo, the, the, the monogram of Christ, because it had a meaning for the pagans and it had a meaning for the Christians. Right, yeah. And it's funny that the most famous thing about Constantine is his vision at the battle where a cross appears in the sky and he says, in this name you shall conquer. Well, yeah. the funny thing is, that doesn't appear in any of his biographies while he was alive. No, Eusebius made it up. Eusebius is like fifth or sixth version of his, his uh, life of Constantine after his death, put it in there. And originally it was never a cross in the original story. It was a Cairo, which had pagan and Christian meanings. Um, yeah. And again, another case of the bullshit just is piled upon bullshit. 